Hey, this is the Art Life video blog number 93, and my name is Marin Melcher. My name is Jacob Wolf. Thank you, Marin, for sure. having me here. And yeah, it's a pleasure. So, uh, this is your studio? Yes. And uh, laundry room? Yes. <laughs> which is great. <laughs> uh, dual purposing. Yes. Phenomenal. <laughs> Um, and, but you have such a lovely home and lovely, beautiful family. Thank you. You're welcome. I think so too. Thank you for inviting me here and giving me espresso that I have somewhere. <laughs> you got it. Sure. Yeah, power cookie. <laughs> delicious baker. Those are baked. <laughs> yeah. Delicious. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. Um, so you are a glass artist. Mm -hmm. uh, but you don't do like pipes and bongs. No. <laughs> no. Back in the day, I would have. But no. Um, you... This is a different kind of glass. This is fused glass. Fused glass. Versus blown glass. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the differences? I don't really know much. Um, a blown glass is where you're actually using a torch and blowing the rods of, of glass. Okay. This is... A fused glass is where you cut it. You cut it and then you, you fire it flat. Okay. And then you then you put it in its the different form. Oh, neat. Mm -hmm. Um, And you have... a big old kiln back here. Yeah, yeah uh, my neighbors thought we were having a big uh, grill delivered when it was delivered. <laughs> we'll just let them keep thinking that. So how did you get started with glass? I went on, my mother-in-law was looking, when I first met my husband, we were dating, and she was looking for something fun that she thought I might like doing. And my husband suggested, oh, she might be into going to a fuse glass open studio and we went and they tell me that I look like Ed Edward Scissorhands the first time I started going at it I was just fell in love instantly and I couldn't wait to go back and I continued to go back to um, Wells studio um, Is it for like years a class yeah she um, Rebecca has a it's just on Alberta okay and it's just cool, and I, I went there literally like I, for years, just a couple times a week, and I just, um, but yeah, you just go in and you decide what what size plate you want to make and what shape, and then you know you just start building it up or dec you know decorating it, whatever. So um, it went from just going like you know kind of as a hobby to like um, I I started just building inventory so I could start doing shows and different things mm -hmm. and um, I had no idea it was going to turn into this but <laughs> that's, it just started on a date with my husband when he was my boyfriend you know before Crazy. he was my husband mm -hmm. were you did you were you an artist before that yeah I've, I've always been a, I've always create been creative I mm -hmm. used to um, you know I always painted and I um, used to think I'd be a designer drawing you know Barbie doll clothes but um then I went into more like patchwork, handmade, reversible corduroy clothes, and be, you know, jewelry. And I've, I've always made something. I just, um, you know, I never, I never really, I never really pursued those right. things. But I've always been making something with my hands. Mm -hmm. um, and the jewelry is kind of a new thing for you, right? Yeah. And I've been making plates and platters and bowls for for years, but then it's just like, you know, I love jewelry. And honestly, since I started making my own, I I don't ever I don't ever wear this is all I wear. And it's nice to like de mm -hmm. just design my own jewelry. Like do you is it stones or is that all glass work? It's too? all glass. Incredible. I would have thought that that was like a precious gem. I know, it changes color, isn't that crazy? <laughs> That's really rad. Yeah. Um, so, did you go to college for art? Mm -mm. Did you go to college? Yeah, a couple of times. Yeah? I, yeah. Didn't Just, do so well. Right. I feel you. <laughs> I've been there. Still paying off those, those terms. Oh, I didn't do so well. Shit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so, is this what you want to do full time? Do you do Yes. I, I'm, I do. I'm a... I'm a I'm a beach body coach by day and I fuse glass artist by night. Wow. Yeah. Yes. And so but this is my passion. This is my mm -hmm. this is this is my passion, yeah. I wanna show off a few of these plates if you sure. don't mind. Absolutely. 
And don't be shy, it's, it's tough stuff. All right. All right, you showed me this, and then you showed me... Where was the one that uh, had the copper in it? There was one that had copper in it, and I don't know where it was. Oh, there it is. All right, cool. All right, so is the silver in this metal? No, actually, this... Um, this you could call it a flower or a nuclear sun it's up to you but um it's actually i cut it out and it starts as silver leaf okay so just real thin silver and it has a different reaction on every color of glass it's on and um sometimes you get this outline sometimes it kind of disappears but that's just pieces of silver leaf that i that i cut out Check out the back of that too. <laughs> Incredible. Do you do uh, like custom full like glass sets? Yes. Yes. Rad. Yeah. Um, how do people get a hold of you for something like that? I have an Etsy store. Um, um, it's Marin Melcher is the name of my Etsy store, and then um, a phone call. I mean, we, it's fun actually mm -hmm. designing something or talking colors and sizes and shapes, you know, right. and having it exactly how you, how you want it to be. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. cool. All right, and this has copper in it, and this is, this is so neat. All right, so this is copper, all of this, like these leaves and the flower, but this is different color than this. Um, <laughs> and that started out copper, just like that, that I cut, I cut the shapes out of. Rad. And why does the copper change color? Is it, it just reacts? It's just. Is it to the glass or the to heat? the heat? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So cool. Um, and then with the jewelry, how much do these uh, run? Uh, between fifteen and and thirty dollars, depending on. Depending on, you know, how much hand sanding or, you know, how much time it, it took me. But and basically, basically, yeah, anywhere between 15 and $30 is us the usual range for my earrings or, or pendants. That's not bad for handmade. I don't think so, and I use all sterling silver. I just committed to doing that, so it'll, it'll last and mm -hmm. look the same. Mm-hmm. Very cool. And what about your uh, like bowls and plates? How much? Like, what is the price range for that? Um, I would say like like a plate about this size range ranges from about forty to sixty. This is an eight inch plate. Um, and basically, like I'm I'm going by the amount of glass. Different different glass colors cost different amounts. So. Like reds and purples cost me a lot more than clear or, mm -hmm. or blue. So I, I literally, I'm just trying to get, at this point in time, I'm just trying to get my money back to invest in more glass so I continue making more more cool things. So I'm, I'm, I'm not charging much more than, than cost right now. Right on. Yeah. Um, have you been participating in shows? I had, last year was my first year of getting out there and I decided I'd try everything at least once is kind of my attitude because it's all new to me. So I did some street fairs, I did the, like a couple Christmas bazaars, um, I just applied for Art on the Pearl and I'm, I'm just trying different things and I, I kind of know which ones I'd like to do again and which ones I, right. I wouldn't and I picked your card up from People's Art Gallery. Yeah. Do you show there too? I have pieces there, you yes. You have pieces there too? Yeah, I do. So you can get pieces from Marin Mulcher at People's Art Gallery? Yes. Um, and jewelry there is there too. Oh, there's, great. there's jewelry and rings there. Chris has my, my big stock of of my 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 fun rings right now awesome mm-hmm um i guess the, the last thing that i wanted to ask was uh or talk about was the fourth f and friday gallery that i do um it's on the fourth friday of every month 
Mm -hmm. And this month will be the third. Okay. And uh, kids are welcome to come. We had children there. Uh, there is going to be free food, uh, free booze. Uh, we give away a bunch of art and we paint on the walls. Are it's, there? Yeah, it's really crazy. A lot of fun. Live cool. music. Okay. Should I bring power cookies? Yeah. For snacks? Please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say no to that. Uh, but you are invited to April's. I think it's April 24th will be the fourth Friday of the month. And, I would uh, love to. Yeah, absolutely. Be a part yeah. of it. Come show. Uh, I'll set up a table for you. Okay, cool. Um, and it'll be great. That's exciting. Uh, I, I do ask all of the artists, uh, and it's not like uh, required or anything, but mm -hmm. if there's something small that they wouldn't mind donating, and we do a raffle. Sure. And then any of the guests that come in can donate $5 or more and get a raffle ticket. Great. I'm going to let you way. pick out a piece for your raffle before you go tonight. Rad. There you go. Yeah. Fantastic. Make sure it's the right one. Soon to come, you'll see. <laughs> um, do you have any last comments, questions, or concerns? No, this this was fun. Right, yeah. Thank you. I, very I'm glad much. this caught your your eye because, like I've said to my husband, I love your card, the little bird on there. And th <laughs> those are pieces I did, the glass birds I did. Rad. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, no, it definitely caught my eye. Good. Like, Sweet. Yeah, I told my husband, I said, because I've been making this stuff for a long time, and it was finally time to, like, get out there, like, you know, leave mm -hmm. the building. Um, and I remember, like I said to my husband, I hope, I hope other people think this stuff is cool, and I'm not the only one. Right. So. What was, what was it like making the decision to get your own kiln? It was... It was exciting and it was, so first it was, we decided to get rid of our garage and, and do this, do this space. And, um, so, you know, I've just, I've been, it, it's been like a dream come true, um, to just, you know, create my own space. Um, and, but getting out there is also scary too, you know, cause it's just like hard not you know, it's like, this is my life's work, so to speak. Right. And hopefully it's received well, but, um, it's really like, I, I find if I go too long without creating something, like I, I get kind of weird. Like, so, so I know this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Cause when, when I'm in the zone, I'm just like, you know, I'm just so fulfilled. Do you fulfilled. come in here to get away? No, no, we, we haven't worked out. So my husband is, you know, he's a musician and I'm, so we're both at home. We're both like, you know, struggling artists, so mm -hmm. to speak, and we've just broken it. We, we're blessed to be able to both be at home and raise our, raise our kids, but um, we've broken it up into a schedule. So I get six hours, he gets six hours, so he has his time to go be productive, and I have my time to be, mm -hmm. pr you know, it's just, right. we're treating it as a job, <laughs> you know. Do you do work every day in here? I, I try to, yes. That's incredible. That yeah. takes a lot of commitment. Yeah. Yes, it does. <laughs> Good for you. It does, <laughs> but it's, it's all it's all worth it. I mean, it's definitely. Yeah. Well, I really enjoy your work. Thank, thank you. you for letting me come out to your house. Sure, thank you. Uh, everybody, this is uh, the Art Life Video Blog. This is the second interview of the day, um, but we will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks.